Hello everybody, my name is Bob, and I am a supervillain, or at least this guy is. Uh, this is sort of the sort of intro to uh, uh, to what may be a series of uh, Grand Theft Auto V online uh, uh, videos. Um, here's his uh, high-end apartment. Uh, over here's the high stream, of course. I could do a heist right now. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of, sort of introduce you to, to my world because I'm uh, I'm not starting off from scratch. I'm already level 101, uh, so um, uh, so I'm not really starting off from from ground zero here. So I just want to get you up to speed with my my world. Uh, oh, perhaps this is a working occasion. I should not take a bong hit. A lot of what I'll be doing is introducing you to some of the cars in the game and some of the cars I own. Also, I'll be introducing you to my crew. Um, I'm a member of and a leader of a uh, uh, a gaming crew. That, that's what they call GTA clans. Uh, gaming crew uh, called uh, You Suck DK. Uh, and here's our emblem right here. You can see it right there. And yes, it's a blob, the face of a blob doll uh, with the uh, "you suck" logo or uh, words underneath. That is what it is. Uh, here's my um, uh, entity supercar. I really like it. Uh, that's my uh, Voltic supercar, which I do actually like, but I probably will wind up selling. Uh, here's my armored Karuna, Karuma, is what it's called, and my collection of motorcycles. Um, let's kind of take them out and show show you. What they can do. Uh, I have uh, probably the two best uh, motorcycles in the game. This one, the uh, uh, Batty 801, and the um, uh, uh, Akuma, uh, uh, the Dinka Akuma. Uh, the Batty 801 is better for highway driving because uh, if you do the, the uh, wheelies on it all the time, uh, basically it's the fastest motorcycle in the game. Uh, if you're in a seat, it's Mango. Mango, I am talking to people on the YouTubes. I'm talking to the people on YouTube, baby. It's my cat, Mango. Uh, so that's that's sort of like the, the the fastest highway driving type vehicle. This is for more for for a city. It is uh, it, it has the the, the fastest non-wheelie top speed. Uh, so in other words, if you're driving around the city, you can't be wheeling all the time because you can't. If you're wheeling, you can't really navigate very too well. Uh, so for for a city or tight tight uh, navigation or some some degree of like country or or rough driving. Uh, that's what you want to to uh, drive is the um, Akuma, and I have all these uh, heavily customized. Um, so we'll take out the uh, Batty 801 right quick on the highway and introduce you to it. And plus, I just like to drive him. Let's kind of pop out on the highway and then pop back. And hopefully, my uh, game is up to. Um, standards of uh, recording this and driving at the same time. Yeah, I'm getting some, some degree of religion. Not too bad, though. Yeah, so if you want to do uh, highway driving, this is probably the best best bike to have. Right here, because you can just go wheelie and just go like a bat out of hell. And just only come out of wheelie when you need to do some navigating. Okay, so we're Mango. I'm busy, Mango. Okay, so we're already here. Let's go ahead and head back to the front real quick. Show you some of my other things. Uh, if you want to have uh, the maximum uh, upgrade you can get for your uh, bikes and cars. Mango, hush. Uh, you need to win races. Um, and uh, hush, Mango. Uh, you need to win races. And um, uh, kiddo, I'm 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 playing the game and talking to people on YouTube. Um, so if you want to get maximum upgrades for engine, transmission, all the thing, make it faster, more powerful, and hence win more races because you can use custom uh, cars, custom vehicles in most races. Um, then you need to um, you need to get out there and race a bunch. 
uh, when you'll win some, you lose some. But when you uh, win a certain number, it'll unlock your um, um, unlock the next upgrade to your uh, to your um, vehicle upgrades. And you can get those vehicle upgrades at the um, uh, Los Santos Customs once you unlock them. kind of tell you about some of my other motorcycles. I won't, won't drive them. That's dirt bike, of course. I stole this off uh, a dude who was uh, part of the uh, Lost Motorcycle Gang. It's got uh, all that uh, Lost uh, stuff on the leather and stuff. This is sort of my utility bike. Uh, it's not, not real fast, but it's uh, one I don't worry about, you know, if it gets all beat up and crap. Okay, here's the uh, Dinka Akuma. Probably, probably my overall favorite motorcycle. And for this one, we'll we'll do some kind of windy-looking roads here. Gonna put it through its paces. It's getting a little glitchy because I'm running running crap. So this. You can wheelie on this too, up to a certain point. But once you reach your top speed, it won't wheelie anymore. So. Um, so that means you, uh, the top speed on the Akuma uh, is not as good as the uh, uh, Betty 801, but the uh, acceleration and uh, and uh, non wheelie speed on the Akuma is better. So it's better for uh, city driving. It's better for uh, like if you're driving out the country or uh, on sort of off road uh, up to a point. I mean, it's really severely off road. Then you probably need to go with a dirt bike. But most most times you're driving off road, this one works perfectly fine. And they both go like a bat out of hell. To the point where you can get yourself in trouble. And of course with a motorcycle, if you hit something, you don't have a whole lot of padding. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Um, uh, I had to take a quick break. Uh, I've been eating a lot of beans lately. And uh, they do say that beans are good for you, which is absolutely true, I believe. Beans are good for you. But they don't tell you that if you eat a whole eat a whole lot of beans, you're going to have some explosive poop events. And so I was on the verge of a explosive poop event and had to suddenly stop what I was doing and go move it in the car, go and uh, deal with that. So, well, and that's one of the the, fuck, the drawbacks of motorcycles right there is uh, if you wreck, it tends to be pretty nasty. And when you're going high speeds like you can with these these bad boys, uh, it can be pretty ugly. Like perhaps even instantly fatal. That sort of thing. Depending on whether you have your shields up and all that, and your full health and all that crap. to have a sprunk machine in the uh, in the garage so you can just grab a sprunk or whatever e cola whatever the hell it is and um, uh, restore your health back because uh, now my health is down significantly uh, this is you, you'll see a lot of these around this is the um, uh, armored Akuma, uh, armored karuma not the Akuma, but Ka armored karuma um, I won't drive it around it's it is actually pretty fast um, but it's also pretty squirrely, which since it's highly armored, is not as big of a drawback as you might think, because you'll, you'll be smashing into everything and spinning around, and it won't really affect the vehicle that much. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's the uh, armored Akuma. It is not bulletproof. It is highly bullet resistant. So you can basically drive this thing into a big crowd of enemies and um, mow them down, and uh, they can't do that much damage to you very easily. Um... Here's the uh, the uh, Voltic uh, hell's the name of it the Voltic coil or co no it's the coil Voltic I'm sorry I got it because it was a convertible it's pretty cool it's got great acceleration but it's on um, sort of not my go-to supercar anymore uh, my go-to supercar now would be this uh, this is the NCXF um, it is uh, full of badass I love it um, let's go drive it. 
Um, it's about three quarters of a million dollars. Uh, if you got, uh, you're getting full upgrades like I did, and all the, the bells and whistles, that'll bring it up to not quite a million dollars altogether. Uh, so it's not cheap, you know. It's, but it's, it's uh, if you like driving fast, it's well worth it. And this shit will win races like crazy. Uh, let's, uh, I'm just flying over here right quick. Actually, it's not so good. Let's get on the highway. Because this is going to be a. major issue with the cross traffic there. Uh, it is extremely fast. It is very maneuverable. Um, that, that's sort of a big, big thing with me because uh, so many of the very fast cars are also super squirrely. Um, now that's the problem with the coil Voltic as well. Um, it's very fast, or especially if it's got very high acceleration. The top speed's not all that great. It has very fast acceleration, but it's squirrely, uh, and uh, that's the problem with a lot of other uh, super sports cars and supercars is they're just fucking squirrely. And if they, they are hard to control at the high speeds that you want to be driving. Of course, you know, here I'm on uh, highway traffic, but it's pretty good even on uh, in uh, uh, city traffic, you know. It's uh, not bad at all. It's very controllable. to a high speed turnaround. I got, of course, got maxed out of the maximum amount of brakes I can possibly put on there. So that always comes in handy. Yes, you know, sometimes this shit happens. That, 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 that shit does happen from time to time. Uh, I do have uh, high armor on it, so it keeps together pretty well. Out of my way, motherfucker. I have, as you can see, the neon lights. Let's head back to uh, the house. Now, a good thing about having a, 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 a garage with a mechanic is just uh, uh, pop your car into the garage and it's good as new.
Right. Excuse me, people. Rich gangster coming through. And there you go. Get his new show. America deserves. Okay, I want to talk a bit about stats. Uh, your like your uh, uh, your strength and uh, stamina and all that. Um, shut up, Laszlo. God damn you. Shemail Bob. You guys are going to the final. Mimes on fire. Thank you. Because I'm talking, I don't want you talking over me, Laszlo. Asshole. Um, okay, so stats. Uh, as you can, see, well, nope, no, not no, no. Uh, as you can see, my my stats are fairly well maxed. Uh, got max stamina. Uh, you can upgrade stamina. Um, one of the best things for uh, uh, improving your stamina uh, is just going out bike riding a lot and just just uh, sprint on your bicycle as much as you possibly can. That's probably that's my favorite bicycle right there. The whip it, whip it good. Okay. Um, okay. So that's stamina. You basically run a lot, a bike a lot, uh, and you'll get your stamina up. Uh, shooting that's pretty well self-explanatory one of the best things uh, to uh, level up shooting is um, uh, to do a lot of survivals uh, that's uh, a multi-wave uh, uh, job you can do uh, you have, where you have to shoot a whole lot of people uh, that's um, good for, for shooting also uh, I think that they're probably uh, doing super shooting competitions at the at the um, ammunition is also good uh, strength one of the best ways to upgrade your strength is actually go play golf uh, and now you may think, well, that's boring as bullshit. Uh, actually, I think the, the golf game in, in GTA 5 is very well done and uh, actually lots of fun. I mean, granted, it's not very similar to what uh, what you normally do in GTA 5, but uh, the golf game in GTA 5 is, to me, lots of fun. So if you want to build up your strength, uh, go ahead and um, uh, play some golf. Uh, what strength impacts is, I think, your maximum health, uh, how that uh, affects that affects your actual gameplay. Um, shooting obviously affects your gameplay because you're uh, better able to um, shoot people. <laughs> uh, stamina affects your gameplay because uh, you're able to run faster and um, uh, swim faster and not get tired. Uh, okay, stealth. Stealth basically you upgrade yourself by, by going into sneak mode a lot. Uh, I'm honestly not sure how I got my sneak stealth so high, uh, but I know that me and a friend were doing a lot of stealth stabs of passers-by and and that seemed to work to increase the stealth quite a lot uh, flying uh, of course you can actually fly to upgrade, upgrade your, your flying um, but you can also one of, one of the best things to do for flying is uh, go to the flight school at the airport and do the, the flight school things uh, lessons uh, that'll upgrade your flying also doing air races will upgrade your flying uh, driving that's pretty well straightforward uh, anytime you drive of course uh, affects that slightly um, but the best way you can upgrade your driving is to do races. Um, lung capacity. You, now you may think, what the fuck was that ever going to have, ever going to be useful to me? Um, but actually, if you're trying to escape like uh, up to about three stars, uh, going swimming is a great way to do that um, because um, they lose track of you when you're underwater. Um, and basically, the way you build that up is um, you go underwater until you're almost drowning, and then you come back to the surface, you know, rinse and repeat. Um, now, when you first start out, your your control of your diving is pretty damn squirrely. Um, I know for me, it was very hard to to dive and then to come back up and all that, and it was it was awful squirrely. Uh, basically, if, when you're first starting out to build your lung capacity, uh, dive right near the beach. Uh, as soon as it will let you dive, just dive in the beach, and then that way, when you're running out of air and you somehow can't get to the surface, just just drive yourself up the beach. You'll you'll come to the surface, and that way you won't die. Uh, Mental state, of course, is how much crazy shit you're doing, player killing, and non-player character killing, police killing, that sort of thing. Uh, so, okay, let's suppose you want to get your an airplane. Um, you want to fly around an airplane, but you don't have an air access to an airplane because the uh, gates at the air airport don't open up to let you in. Uh, there, are, there are two ways, at least two ways, two ways that I know of. Uh, to uh, get into the airport uh, or get into the airfield so you can steal a plane. Um, there's one the way that, that everyone talks about it you see on lots of YouTube videos and stuff. And then there's this way. Uh, this way is especially good if you're in like a real big car and somehow or other you're having a hard time doing the jump to get into the uh, to get into the um, 
uh, airfield. Basically, you just jump this thing, go over this side here, uh, or over the back there, and um, and uh, you'll get to the airport. This is also the location of the San Andreas Flight School, which is a great way to build up your flying skill. And, and the way that you see on YouTube videos a lot is very uh, common. The common way to get into um, uh, into the airport is this. The problem with doing this is, of course, the traffic is going opposite direction that you are, and they have a tendency to swerve into your lane, which could be very unfortunate for you. Uh, but ideally, here is what you do. Uh, jump in there, complete your stump jump. Uh, over here, uh, I got lucky this time, there is an attack helicopter right there. Uh, does wonderful damage, great for doing a little melee against the police and so forth. Um, Actually, going to grab a uh, jet over here. Uh, if you ever played the Kerbal Space Program, the controls should be kind of in a way familiar. There's your uh, pitch roll and yaw. Uh, and just to keep all of those straight, and you should have no particular problems. Uh, as your flying skill improves, your ability to control the um, gear up, thank you. the ability to uh, improve the or to to uh, control the aircraft also improves. One of my favorite antisocial activities in GTA 5. Uh, you, I've just released a video on it. Uh, I'll be doing it. Is to uh, collide the airplane with the building uh, and try to jump out at the last possible minute. Now, if you're cutting it real close, what you need to do is to uh, go ahead and um, uh, hit your parachute as soon as possible. Uh, and that will get you a uh, star and uh, will have an adverse effect on your on your mental state. Yes. Actually, I should have go pulled up there because there's an extra parachute. You only get one parachute, use of one parachute every uh, 45 minutes, I think it is. Um, which is a bummer. Um, but um, there are parachutes over here as well. Also, the um, uh, controls for the um, oh, guess the parachute over there. Uh, the controls for the um, parachute are uh, basically left, right, hard left, and hard right. Uh, also, uh, pull up and uh, and dive. Uh, so, um, you need to be careful. Also, because your you will um, your parachute will sometimes hit the building. Okay, no stars. All is well. All is well. Oh, and there's a E. Cola machine. There's a difference between uh, drinking an E. Cola from uh, or whatever sprunk, whatever the hell they are. God damn it, I don't care. Uh, different from drinking it from the machine as versus from your inventory. Here, I'll show you. Uh, you go to inventory, you can store a lot of uh, snacks. Uh, like P's and Q's, Ego Chaser, and also E. Cola. <clears throat> but the E. Colas you, you carry with you don't restore your health completely. Uh, but if you drink from a machine... It'll totally restore your health. 
okay. I guess that's about, about all for right now. Um, and uh, if you have any, uh, if you're playing GTA 5 and I have any questions or um, uh, comments or like I don't know how to do this or w one thing that I just found out is um, uh, I, I was trying to um, uh, upload a video to uh, YouTube from the from inside the game uh, and that did not work very well and I was like how do I how the fuck do I do this uh, and there's a hidden folder uh, under um, users whatever your user profile user profile is um, uh, you know, there's YouTube videos on how to do it anyway you can basically uh, unhide that that folder and just upload the video the videos to sit in there in a folder and you can just upload it directly to use the in, in uh, the in-game video uh, like I just I just released one that or just uploaded one that was uh, used the in-game video uh, doing exactly what we just did just then driving a plane to the maze bank building building um, also as I mentioned before I have a uh, gaming clan, or uh, as they call it, crew in, in Rockstar parlance. Uh, a gaming crew, um, you suck, DK. Um, and um, if you are a regular player of, of uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, um, emphasizing the regular, because we there's, there's no point in us getting involved in somebody who's going to play once a month. You know, that's just stupid. We're, we're regular players, we want regular players, right? Uh, so, um, if you want to join the uh, the crew, uh, just uh, my my uh, my Rockstar Social Club name is Wild Haven, all lowercase, uh, all one word, uh, and um, just send me a message and say hi. I'm one of your YouTube watchers, and I want to join. You suck, DK, and I would twist my head. Yes, twist twist the head. Um, and I want to join your your your, your crew, uh, and we will be happy to uh, to have you aboard. Uh, we are a, a small but very active crew, uh, and uh, I kind of like it that way. Uh, as far as the not being like a, just a huge anonymous crew, we you know, we all know each other, we all chat and have fun, and, uh, and uh, that's the way it should be. Uh, and um, so, anyway, that's all for right now. Uh, I may make this a series. I may not. I may get together with some some of my pals and crewmates and uh, and record me doing some mischief uh, or not. It depends. Uh, but anyway, for right, that's all for right now. And until next time, hasta la vida. Hasta la vista. Adios.